Example 2.4. This is a conduction case in which we have to determine the differential equation and the boundary conditions of a copper bar with geometry given, temperature at the sink is given, and the temperature at the airstream is given. It is also known that the width is a lot higher than the length, therefore we could consider this problem to be one-dimensional. Also the heat generation is uniform within the body and it has constant properties. Let's start the analysis with the heat conduction equation. In this particular case we have that is one dimension therefore we could get rid of this term and we could get rid of this term. The problem has heat generation and is an unsteady problem so the final differential equation for this problem is going to be the second dt dx squared dt squared. Notice that this equation is second order in the x-axis therefore it requires two boundary conditions and is first order in, the, in time so it only requires one initial condition. Let's just start with the boundary conditions. The boundary conditions are defined at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to L. Notice that at x is equal to 0 the temperature is constant so is the first kind, so we define t at x is equal to zero at any time is simply equal to t zero. At x is equal to l, we have convection, which is the third kind of boundary conditions. So we simply set h, the temperature at l at any time, minus the fluid temperature is equal to the conduction that takes place in that location. So we define it at x is equal to L. Let's continue with the initial condition. Remember that we need only one since the temperature is in the first order for time. So we're going to assume that the temperature is uniform at time equal to zero. So we define temperature at any position x for time equal to zero to be uniform at t zero. Please go back and review each one of the boundary conditions and understand when to set them up depending of what the conditions are at each one of the surfaces.